My name is Elijah Navarro, percussion product specialist at the Dario & Company, percussion brands, Evans Drumheads, Promark Drumsticks, and Pure Sound Snare Wire. I'm joined today by my good buddy Kenny Sharitz, professional drum tech with artists such as Stevie Wonder, Rihanna, and Train. So what are we talking about today? What are we doing? It's time to install some snare wax. What you got for me, Eli? All right, so I got a Custom Pro, 14-inch, mm -hmm. 20 strand steel. You'll notice it has the bent end plates here to help minimize sympathetic snare buzz from your toms and kick drum. So you want to lay the snares in the center of the drum, take the ruled strap, and slide it through the snare slot and into the retaining plate on the strainer. Then we do the same with the ruler strap through the snare slot on the butt plate. It is here that the ruler strap comes in most handy because it makes it easy to align the strap with the bearing edge so you get nice, evenly centered snares. Now you want to pull down on the snare strap firmly, but not too hard, and make sure it's nice and even so the snares aren't twisting to the left or twisting to the right. They simply want to come in straight, and then you take your key and tighten this bad boy down. Down goes the butt plate, nice and even in a balanced, even fashion for even tension. And voila, we have installed snares. It's beautiful. And let's give it a good lock and load on each side. Now again, these straps have the markings on them, so you can double check and make sure that you're perfect on each side we are. And I'm gonna give it a double tighten, because I know your hands are strong, but... <laughs> Maybe not Rody. Yeah, so. I'm a perfectionist. I can't help it, man. It's just okay. what I do. And so let's go ahead and take a look at where we are right now. Now here should have a little buzziness. A little snizz, but when you pull it up, it's just a little tightness. So you tighten the strain right now? Oh, yes, I am. I'm taking it up just a little bit. What I like to do, take it back just a little bit. And there we go. You should be able to get a nice buzz with the gentlest touch. Snare activity. So now when you go full steam with it, Listen to that bad boy. It's beautiful. So again, a couple of things we're gonna go over, do's and don'ts uh, of doing this. One, you don't want to make these snares uneven. You want them nice, straight on, and true. You don't want to be pounding on this bottom head. You want to use a nice, soft mallet so you right. don't dent the head. And again, finger tighten with a balanced tension to start so the drum tunes up equally and down equally as you wish. Excellent job, man. As always, Kenny, thanks so much, man. Thank Appreciate you, my